good morning. Today I'm gonna to talk about something that is very new to me and something that I'm afraid is going to become a brand new obsession for me, and that is book nooks. I made this book nook, first of all, I'm very proud of it. Um, I made this book nook this week and um, I did like a, I did record me making this thing and putting it together. I'll give you a close up of this thing and what it looks like, but I am kind of obsessed with it. I've been getting ads for these little like book nook things that you assemble yourself because I know you could get miniature houses. I know people do Legos on their bookshelves and I kind of liked the idea of making one myself as a little activity. Um, I do like puzzles and this one was kind of like a 3D puzzle and it was very satisfying when the pieces went together just the right way. Um, and I wanted to talk about it because I felt like some of them, the ones that I've been getting ads for on Instagram are kind of expensive. This one was like 30 bucks on Amazon and it was on sale, so that was nice. It had like a 20% off coupon or something that you could like click the box. So I wanted to talk about this one because I feel like with the holidays coming up and family gatherings, you know, people getting together, you might be looking for something to do that's not making a gingerbread house. <laughs> And then this is something you're gonna get to keep as opposed to a gingerbread house that you probably wouldn't eat. You could, but I never have. Um, or, you know, something that you're just gonna throw away. So, I don't know. I wanted to talk about it because I feel like it's an activity you could do with kids. Uh, maybe not like really young kids. This says it's not suitable for children under 14 years due to small parts. I think you could probably have, you know, maybe a 10 or 12 year old help you with this, but you know, use your best judgment. Um, so this is the one that I bought on Amazon. I, if I can link it in the description box, I will, because I really liked this one. The assembly difficulty says it's one of five stars and it did not include AAA batteries for the light. It did not include glue or tools. And I didn't need any tools actually. Um, the glue that I used was this Loctite vinyl fabric and plastic. It's like a flexible adhesive because we had it. <laughs> um, and I actually, the way I did it is I kind of squeezed some of the glue out and then they did give me some Toyser type tools that I just punched out of the cards and I don't even know if I still have them. Um, but the pieces punched out of these little sheets of, it's like little model wood type substance. The pieces themselves were labeled really very well. You can see this sheet was uh, sheet B. So each sheet had a number and then each piece on the sheet had, or each sheet had a letter and then each piece on the sheet had a number. So like A13, B12, that sort of thing. The instruction booklet for this one actually was really easy to follow. Um, I was kind of worried when I opened it because first thing I see is a language that's not English, but um, all of the instructions were in English and that other language. So um, there's pictures to follow and yeah, the instructions I thought were logical. They made a lot of sense. I didn't have any trouble following them. There was one part that I kind of messed up and that was my little... A reading chair because I put the sides of the reading chair on the wrong side and so the reading chair is now facing the wrong direction so it's supposed to be facing the table but I have it facing the other way because I put the sides of the chair on the wrong sides and now <laughs> um, you can't see the pattern of the chair which is totally fine with me however there's like a piece on one of the sides of the chair on the feet that sticks into the floor to keep it in place and um, it's on the wrong side. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I didn't realize until I was putting it together that there is a cat in this book nook, which makes me really happy. And there are a couple of pieces that I actually haven't put in it yet. Um, there are some little pieces that I have not cut out or punched out like these right here, these little art pieces. Um, I'm supposed to glue those in on one of the shelves in here. And I also didn't glue the books in place. 
So I just kind of tossed the books inside it because they're cute, teeny tiny little pieces of die cut wood with little stickers on them to act as book jackets. But this is one of the cute little books and I just think it's precious, you know, so there's like 24 of those. Um, and I just have them kind of thrown in here. I will eventually probably put them on the shelves, but I think for now it looks kind of chaotic and cluttered. Actually, right now it looks more like the library upstairs in my, in our guest room than anything. But, um, yeah, I think I'm, I think I've talked long enough about this. I am going to go into, um, some sped up footage of me putting this together. I had a really fun time with this. It took me... I would say three to four hours to put this together over the course of two nights. So um, I won't say it was quick, but I enjoyed the process. I had a really fun time with it and at no point was I frustrated or angry. Um, the pieces all fit together the way that they should. Um, my, little, my little doors close. Actually, so the light is like a touch plate and it came with the light kit. The doors close, so they're functional. And then um, there's this little latch down here that I can slide over and then it like locks the doors in place, which is kind of cool. And then on the back is where I have my little battery pack for the lights. So this opens up and I can easily change the batteries for the lights if and when I need to. But you know, they're fresh batteries. So I shouldn't have to do that for a long time. But I think it's gonna look so cute on my shelf in the library. I'm really proud of it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over into the sped up footage of me putting this together, but I think that's all I really have to say about it. So if you're interested in how I assembled this, keep watching. But if you're not, then you know, you can go and I'm gonna go and you guys will see me in another video really soon. <laughs> Bye. So I'll start by showing you the book nook and I have this little latch down here at the bottom that I can flip up and then I can open my doors and there's a little touch plate for the light on the ceiling and I was supposed to like glue it in place but for whatever reason it was weird and it would not light up if it was touched on one side at any time so I just you know left it off or it left it unglued so no it's just kind of it's up there and it works and you can see I've got some empty shelves in here where the books are supposed to go but most of them are just kind of back here with my little cat or they're on the floor behind the table, which, you know, I can just, I can live with, it's fine. But um, I do actually have a couple of pieces that I still need to glue in on this shelf right here. So I've got my glue over here to the side. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that really quick. So this is the little stick, one of the little sticks that they gave me as like a tool. And I just put the glue on the end of this thing and then I'm just gonna brush it right, well, dab it right on the shelf. Just working one at a time. There we go, ta-da. And then there's a couple of pieces actually on this sheet that I've been using as my glue sheet. You can see my glue there. They gave me several, these are stickers. Um, they gave me like a little runner and they gave me a couple of little like placemats. This thing I think was supposed to go on the chair. Um, yeah, I just didn't use them because I didn't, I didn't really care for the way they looked. But um, I think that's another way to make this your own. You know, you can choose to use everything or not. Also, while we're this close up, I wanna show you something that I'm really proud of. I'm gonna tilt you down so you can see the table. So this book actually has pages in it, and this is like one really long sticker that you just kind of fold over itself, and then you put the cover on it, and I just think it's actually kinda of cool. It, it looks more like a journal than like a book. And mine is not folded perfectly, but I think it's really cute. And then behind that, there's a teeny tiny little coffee mug that you can see just off the tip of my finger. So anyway, I think 
I might have a new obsession. I really like this. Now we can finally go into the sped up footage of me actually assembling this thing because I think it is so cool. I'm actually really, really proud of it. <laughs> 